talking about brain plasticity. You know, um, the brain responds to experience. And this is our key moment, really, is to, the key element, really, of, uh, of brain plasticity is that our brain does respond. It, you know, we respond to learning events. Um, even as uh, Ali was talking about neuro-linguistic programming, we can change our brain and the way our brain operates, knowing how uh, our brain is, is open to change. We can take advantage of that. So adaptation is important for us so we can experience learning. So we adapt to new experience. And even today, you will have adapted to new experience. You've taken on some new information. Experience can change both the anatomy of the brain and the functional organisation, physiology of the brain. In recovery from injury, but also synaptic pruning and exercise induces brain changes. What's synaptic pruning? Synaptic pruning happens in infancy when we, um, there's a gradual pruning of uh, synapses that aren't used, essentially. Um, those, uh, those synapses die off. It's a natural process. Natural ones happens in the first year or...? Yeah, the first couple of years, uh, there's a natural synaptic pruning occurs as this wealth of neurons that the new infant is, is born with uh, gradually thin as if they're not provided with much stimulus, then all of those okay. synapses gradually wither off. They just atrophy. Could it just be because they were in a different environment, now they're in another environment and they don't use them anymore? Um, well, they were in the womb yeah. and now they're born. Yeah. Uh, it's a good question, but I think it's more about there's a multiplicity of possibilities yeah. at birth and then there's the availability for experience to reinforce that and keep it in place, as it were, to establish it. But you need experience to establish the connectedness. It's all there as possibility. Okay. Which is rather wonderful, but it, it means that an impoverished infancy is going to result in less brains, uh, well, greater synaptic pruning. Um, this last point I'd like to just emphasize here is exercise induces brain changes. When we exercise, we produce a, um, a chemical called brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF. And what that means is that the, the chemical that causes brain cells to grow is generated by exercise. So if you want your brain to be enhanced, then you need to exercise. And they reckon about three days a week, 20 minutes a day, reasonably vigorous exercise. Like go for a walk like you're, you're late. So boxes are going to start people? Who's that boxes? Oh, <laughs> not necessarily so. <laughs> yes, you would think from that point of view, from yeah. the exercise point of view. Yeah, but then they go and build their brains around. <laughs> That also makes me think of all the, um, the research done on meditation. Yes. Which obviously not vigorous exercise compared to going for a job or whatever else. No, but I think it emphasises that there are multiple ways to generate brain growth. Mm -hmm. yeah. One of them is through empathic meditation and others uh, might be through physical exercise. Yeah. Both are courses. In other words, there's multiple ways to do it. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to go for a run tonight, Rosie? No. <laughs>